In the ever-evolving saga of sustainability and technology, the world finds itself at a crossroads. The supply of neodymium dwindles, casting shadows of uncertainty over the wheels of progress. Meanwhile, Ford CEO's voice resonates with urgency, cautioning that the game-changing cobalt, once mined, has reached a pivotal juncture. Are we standing at the precipice of a new era? Or is it, as they say, game over? Buckle up as we delve into the depths of neodymium scarcity, the electrifying role of cobalt, and the profound echoes of the Ford CEO's warning. In recent years, the automotive industry has been undergoing a seismic transformation. Driven by the urgent need to transition from conventional internal combustion engine vehicles to electric alternatives. At the forefront of this electrification revolution stands Ford, one of the world's most iconic automobile manufacturers. The CEO of Ford, a visionary leader and strategist, is acutely aware of the impending challenges and opportunities that lie ahead, particularly with regards to the availability of crucial battery minerals. Among these minerals, two stand out as both rare and essential. A mineral that could potentially shape the future of electric vehicles and redefine the automotive industry as we know it. The rare battery mineral cobalt, a silver-gray transition metal, has emerged as a crucial component in the production of lithium-ion batteries, which power the majority of today's EVs. This mineral plays a pivotal role in stabilizing the cathode, ensuring the longevity and efficiency of the battery. However, the scarcity of cobalt has raised significant concerns within the industry and sparked a race to find suitable alternatives or more sustainable ways of sourcing this critical mineral. The CEO of Ford recognizes the gravity of this situation and its potential to disrupt the EV market. Aware that cobalt is predominantly mined in politically unstable regions, Often plagued by ethical and environmental concerns, Ford has been investing in research and development to mitigate its dependence on this rare mineral. This strategic foresight underscores the CEO's commitment to sustainable practices and technological innovation, cementing Ford's position as a leader in the evolving automotive landscape. Ford's redefining resource management approach to the cobalt challenge is emblematic of a broader shift within the automotive industry towards responsible resource management. The CEO's emphasis on reducing the environmental footprint of EV production aligns seamlessly with the growing global demand for ethical and sustainable practices. By investing in initiatives that focus on recycling and repurposing cobalt, Ford aims to not only secure its own supply, but also contribute to a more circular economy within the battery manufacturing sector. The Ford CEO's approach to resource management is a testament to the circular economy principles that advocate for minimizing waste and maximizing value. Rather than perpetuating a linear, take more, dispose model, the CEO's vision embraces a holistic approach where resources are continuously cycled repurposed, and reintegrated into the production cycle. This ethos is exemplified in Ford's investments in cobalt recycling technologies, a proactive step towards reducing dependence on new cobalt extraction and minimizing the industry's environmental footprint. Ford's CEO, with a keen understanding of the potential game-over scenario posed by cobalt scarcity, has demonstrated a commitment to investing in innovation. The company's investments in research and development of alternative battery chemistries, such as solid-state batteries, could ultimately reshape the landscape of EVs and render the cobalt dilemma obsolete. Jim Farley warned that the world is running out of neodymium, a rare earth metal that is essential for the magnets used in electric vehicle motors. Farley said that if the world does not find a way to mine more neodymium, the global transition to EVs will be game over. Neodymium is a relatively abundant element in the Earth's crust, but it is difficult and expensive to mine. Most of the world's neodymium comes from China, which has been accused of using forced labor in its mines. This has led to concerns about the sustainability of the neodymium supply chain. Farley said that Ford is working to develop new technologies that will reduce the amount of neodymium needed in EV motors. However, he warned that the world needs to find a way to mine more neodymium 
if it wants to make the transition to EVs a reality. Here are some additional details about the neodymium shortage and its implications for the EV industry. Neodymium is a rare earth element, which means that it is relatively scarce in the earth's crust. Neodymium is essential for the magnets used in EV motors. These magnets are what give EVs their power and torque. Most of the world's neodymium comes from China, making them a monopoly in the supply chain. This has various diplomatic and political implications. As the final pages of this narrative unfold, they reveal a story of transformation, adaptation, and unwavering determination. The world may be running out of neodymium, and the rare battery mineral cobalt may be nearing its limit. But these challenges are not harbingers of doom. They are stepping stones to a future where innovation trumps scarcity, where collaboration defies constraints, and where sustainability is the bedrock of progress. If you found this voyage through rare minerals and visionary foresight as captivating as we did, don't forget to tap that like button, drop a comment to fuel the conversation, hit the share button to spread the electrifying insights, and make sure you're subscribed so you never miss the pulse of our next exploration. As we bid adieu for now, keep your curiosity charged, and stay tuned for our next adventure. Until then, take care, stay charged, and see you soon for more electrifying revelations. Bye for now.